Hey guys, okay, so uh, another 30 minute mixed level class. Um, I'll excuse myself in advance, I have a bit of a head cold coming on, so um, if I'm making noises. Okay, so we'll start with our little warm up. Stand with our feet hip, feet hip distance apart. From here, we're gonna squat down and stand. So I'm sitting back into my heels, working up and down. Sorry, not sitting back into my heels, sorry, sitting back into my hips. Trying to keep the pressure even through the feet. So personal trainers always try to get you drive through your heels. I want you to use the balls of the toes as well. So you've got even pressure going through the feet. Do two more. And one more. Excellent. I'm going to turn the feet out. Dropping down and coming in. So I'm pushing those knees out 45 degrees over those feet, which are at the same angle. And again, I'm sitting down into those hips, trying to stay up tall through the chest. Do one more. Excellent stuff. Staying in this position, I'm gonna drift out over my left foot, then push back. And what I'm trying to do is transfer the weight by pressing through the foot. So I'm getting the foot to uh, activate and shift the weight over. So when I'm pressing through the foot, I feel the whole leg switching on. One more to each side. Brilliant stuff. Shake that out. So then I'm gonna to come to the back edge of my mat and I'm gonna do my little side lunges. So I'm gonna to lunge to the front corner of my mat, spring back and lunge and spring back. So I'm just doing a bit more of an active warm up. <clears throat> so this keeps us moving. And I explode off that foot. Blow it off that foot. One more to each side. Brilliant stuff. Then I'm gonna to stand to the end of my mat and I'm gonna do our little scoops. So I'm gonna step forward and sweep through with the hands, change legs, sweep through. So I'm just changing from left to right as I fall over there. Trying to maintain my balance. Good stuff, and you're just scooping down as low as is comfortable for you. Again, if you have any knee or hip issues, just do what you can. Excellent stuff. Then I'm gonna turn and face forward again, keeping my feet in hip distance, hip distance apart, squatting down, and I'm just gonna do a little, I call them crab walks. So just sidestepping. Little baby steps, trying to keep the pelvis level. I don't want to be going ticky tocky across the mat. I want to stay low, hovering over and back. Good stuff. Perfect. Then I'm going to turn and face forward. Same thing. I'm going to do little steps in this crouched position. Then I'm going to crawl backwards. I walk backwards, sorry. Thinking of the next exercise. And then go again. And back. It's a burner, isn't it? We'll do one more. It's like sneaking around the house. Good stuff. Excellent work. Brilliant. Lovely. So then I'm gonna um, just do a roll down. And I'm going to do a walk out on my hands. You can do, get down on all fours and crawl along the floor if you wish, right? And I'm going to do a little push up at the end, which is optional. So, flexing forward, walking out. When I'm here, I'm going to do a push up and then walk back in. You can obviously do the push up at the end on your knees. So I'm coming out. Get to here, you can drop to your knees, then do your push-up. 
come off your knees and walk back in. Or you're just crawling along the floor, whatever way you like, crawling forwards and backwards. I'm gonna do five of these. Walk back in. And one more. Brilliant, and walk back in. Lovely, okay. Now, down we go on all fours. So, we're gonna do a little kind of a bear crawl option. You can do it with your knees on the mat or you take your knees off the mat. You're gonna lift your left hand and your right knee and they're gonna tap. Then you're gonna switch in left hand to right knee and tap. So I'm tapping, 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 okay? Staying low, opposite hand to opposite knee. You can do this with two knees on the floor. You just lift the knee, lift the knee, lift the knee, lift the knee, all right? Let's go five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two. God, I'm really bad today. <laughs> one, one. Don't know what's wrong with me. I'm definitely coming down with something. I'm all, all over the shop. Okay, good. And then you can flick out through the wrists. Okay, so I'm back on all fours again. Draw my belly button in. I'm gonna extend my left arm, right leg. Bring them back home and switch. So making sure to keep that belly drawn in. Shoulders tucked back and down. Reaching out nice and long. Lengthening long through the arms. Point those toes away. And don't be, bring up that back leg. Don't arch you too much through the back. Last one. Brilliant stuff. Okay. So turning around. <coughs> So we're gonna do some hundreds. So again, you can do these with your head and shoulders up off the mat if you can, okay? That's the ideal position. If not, you can just mimic the position with the head down. So from here, feet flat on the floor. I'm gonna keep a little gap in the small of my back. I'm gonna lift my head and shoulders off the mat. I'm gonna pulse the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Breathing in, breathing out, okay? So we're just gonna Stick to that rhythm as we breathe. If you want to take your left leg into tabletop, take your right leg into tabletop, keep going. We're probably about 30 pulses now, keep pulsing. Then I'm gonna extend those legs if I want to, keep pulsing. I'm gonna lower the legs a bit. 60 pulses, say, counting in my head. Then take the feet back up. Take them back into tabletop if you like. So there's loads of options here. So really work it in and out as best you feel you can. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And in. Excellent work. So from here, extend that left leg long. Keep the right leg in tabletop and we switch. One. Two, one, two, head up or head down again, depending on what you want to do, all right? So five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, done. And pull that right knee into your chest. And then pull the left one. Now we're gonna go back to that right leg, keep it straight and we're gonna sit so we go pull, pull, switch, 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 pull, pull, last one, switch, pull, pull, done. Nice, excellent. Okay, we'll stay on the ab, killers. Two arms up to the ceiling, two legs into tabletop, 
Head and shoulders off the floor is optional again. I'm going to do our little dead bugs. Staying strong. Again, put the head down if the neck is tired. In our 30 day challenge now, I think I'm on day 16, 17, I think it is. So I'm definitely feeling a bit tired now, a little bit from doing everything all the time. So rest when you need to rest. Last thing we want to do is create an injury for ourselves. Okay, stretch that out. Lovely. Then we're going to roll back up. Okay. Up nice and tall, we'll do some little roll down variations, okay? So, I want to sit up nice and straight through the spine. I'm sitting right up on those sit bones, holding onto my shins. I'm gonna roll back from the pelvis, stretch back through the arms. Then I'm gonna tuck the chin in, round my back, and sit back up tall. We'll do three at each level. Lengthen back. Tuck the chin in, round up nice and tall. And one more, lengthening back through the arms. Tuck the chin in, round back up tall. Then I'm gonna place the hands underneath the hamstrings, underneath the thighs, roll them back out again. So, should be able to go a little bit further now. Because the hands have been repositioned, arms can go longer. So you can lean back further while you're still holding on. And we're still looking for all that round back movement, so I'm rounding back through the pelvis. Then when I'm coming back up, I'm tucking that chin in to round that back. Then I'm going to let go all together, leaning back, and then crunch to come back up. And again, leaning back, and crunch to come back up. One more, leaning back, how low can you go? And crunch to come back up. Brilliant, excellent stuff. Straighten those legs out in front. Arms out straight. So we're gonna lean back all the way down. Arms go over the head. This is the one when we're trying to come back up. Nice and slow and controlled, perfect. Remember you can stick your feet under the couch to help. But hopefully now, Having done quite a few classes, these are getting easier now and you can really do them nice and smoothly. And then I'm going to come up now and as I come up I'm going to take my left leg into tabletop to meet it. Then I'm going to sit back down and I'm going to take my right leg into tabletop to meet it. Sit back down, I'm going to do two on each side. And then one more on the right. Excellent. Now, I'm going to show you a real hard one. If I don't make a mess of it. I'm going to take the two legs up into tabletop as I'm coming up. So I'm coming up and I take the two legs into tabletop. Hover. Lie back down. So this is a real ab killer. You can continue doing maybe toe taps or something like that if these are too tricky. Lovely. And then I'm going to take the two legs into our kind of V-sit position. So as I come up, I take the two legs up to me. These are called teasers. Really hard. I'm going to do three of these. And one more. That's what I love about the mat. You really do have to do some really hard stuff. And there's no hiding from it. Okay, perfect. If you didn't like them, jump back on again. Okay, feet together, knees together. Knees out to the left as you look to the right. And I'm gonna lift up those knees, lower them to the right as I look to the left. <clears throat> Very nice, there's my click. I want to click my low back. And then I go to my low, there's the other side. Go to the left as I look to the right. I keep switching. Good work. Okay, enough for that one. So I'm going to come around. <coughs> I'm going to kneel. 
up tall. So, if this is tricky on the knees and you find it difficult, you can just come back down and do some little kicks like so. And these are really, they're called quad pulls, so I'm out like so. And I'm just gonna lean back, lower the hands, and then come back up again, okay? You can do it with the toes out or the toes curled under. Toes curled under gives you a little bit more support and you feel safe for doing them. But you should feel a nice L pull through those quads. And then as I do that, I'm gonna bring my right arm up to the ceiling. Makes me a little bit more top heavy. Then I'm gonna come back and bring my left arm up to the ceiling. So it puts a bit more pressure through that left side. And we do another one on the right. Lovely, then I'm gonna open my two arms out to the side as I lean back. Ooh, quads are burning now. One more. <laughs> Woo, killer. Okay, good stuff. So then from here, I'm gonna drop the left hand down underneath my arm, right arm, and bring it back up to the ceiling. And again. And back up. And go under. Okay, lovely. All righty. So, dropping down onto my left elbow. I got my knees in a straight line with the rest of my body, feet tucked behind me, okay? So I'm doing some side planks now, okay? So all I'm gonna simply do is press down through my left elbow and come up onto my knees like so, and then sit back down. So give me five, and we're gonna build these up in terms of difficulty. Then I'm gonna flip sides and do it on the other side. And one more. Excellent. And if you wanna have a little break and stretch your shoulder, do. So then as I come up, I'm gonna hold my plank and I'm gonna lift that top leg five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have a little break to stretch. Okay, so now we're gonna combine those two moves. We've done them in a previous video, they are tough. You come up and lift the top leg, lower back down. Up and lift, and lower. Lift. And lower, lift, last one, lift, and lower. Excellent, and we give that a wee stretch. Now, so I've just popped into this position here. It's like our mermaid position where I brought my left leg forward, right leg down by my side. I'm gonna turn, placing the two hands on my left side onto the floor, lower the chest down, then come up and over and back, up and over. And you don't have to come over if it's too tricky. Excellent stuff. So then I'm gonna turn, go on to my right side now. So same idea, right elbow under the shoulder, make sure it's right there, not over here. Then I wanna try and keep my body in a straight line, feet tucked behind me. Up and over, oh yeah, just up we go. I forgot what we were doing there. And then back down, I'm jumping into my side bends. We're doing side planks. So I'm just coming up and down, pause for a sec, then lower, two more. Stay strong through this right elbow. Feel the pressure going down into the elbow to support that shoulder. Okay, good. So then on the next one, it's just the leg lift. So we come up into that plank and we lift that leg. Keep everything strong. Perfect. 
Perfect. And then back down. And then we do the combo. So we, as we come up, we're lifting and then we're lowering. Good, two more. Okay, super. And then we're gonna stretch out that guy. And then we're getting into this mermaid position on this side. So now I've got the right leg across, left leg to the side, turn, hands to my right, drop my chest. And then if I'm happy to come up and over with my arms, side bending left, then back down. Do one more. Excellent work. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm gonna do these on my elbows. So I'm down on my elbows. <clears throat> Knees are like so. And I'm just gonna straighten that left leg and I'm gonna bring it up behind me and then I'm gonna scoop my left leg over my right side and then bring it back and over. So I'm trying to stay nice and still. Don't really move too much through my upper body. Just let that left leg do a nice arc over and back. I can feel my right glute kicking in as I kind of do a slight twist to the right. One more. Great. Staying on that left leg, bend the knee and just do little kicks, little pulses to the ceiling. So I'm trying to point the toe, kick up to the ceiling, feel that hamstring and glute kick in. Five, four, three, to get your timing right. One, done. Extend that left leg long, lower it, and raise it to the ceiling. Little toe tap. Keep that core engaged. Good stuff. So again, that glute squeezes as it's getting right to the top. Two more. And one more. Brilliant. And then last one, hold it there, and let's do little circles. Everything is moving, keep that core engaged. And let's circle back the other way, five in each direction. Three, two, one, done. Nice. Stretch that out. Okay, good. Same thing on the right leg now. So I extend that right leg, scoop it up and over to my left, and then I'm gonna do nice big arcs over and back. Trying to stay nice and strong through everywhere. Nothing is moving, so strong shoulders, strong core. Stabilize as that leg just scoops over and back. Again, I feel a little bit of an activation through that left glute. Obviously that right leg, because it's switched on, is kind of feeling everything working. One more. Good stuff. Bend that right knee. Little kicks to the ceiling, little pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. Straighten that right leg now. And we just bring it up and down. So you want to get it as high as you can, but without arching through your back. So as the leg is coming to the ceiling, I engage my core a little bit more to prevent too much back bend. Two more. And then we do our little horrible circles. Everybody's friend, hold it there, let's pull our circle. Three, two, one, and back again. I'm losing the, the power to make circles. Three, two, one, ay, 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 ay. Woo. Buns of steel, lads, grab a drink. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do a little exercise, it's called a seal. It's a bit funny looking. But it's really nice. Um, it's similar to the rollbacks we do, but it is easier. So what we're doing is we put our feet together, leave the knees open, you grab your ankles, and you just roll back and up. And you don't have to balance if you don't want to, you can stop and pause. Because the legs are open, it just, it's a little bit easier 
as a rocking exercise. There are a few different variations of rocking exercises in Pilates. You rock on your front, you rock on your back. So, but this is, this is a lovely one. It's a great way to massage your back if it's stiff. Sure, we'll do one more. Excellent. Now, these things are called jackknives. Okay, again, not a beginner move. <clears throat> we lie down. So we build up to it. So you're just going to have your hands flat down. You're using your arms to push up. So you just take your two knees to tabletop and then lower them down. And do two or three of these. So see what you think you can do. I am going to take it to a pretty advanced level. So see what you're able for. And for some of you, that's a challenge in itself. Just to... Then from here, can you take the legs up? And there. Uh, so I've set your challenge now by saying it's very advanced. If these are too tricky, do them as single legs. Good. Now, from here, you take those legs up and over. And then you roll back down. This is stage three, level three. There is a fourth one. Believe it or not, so we're coming up and over. So I'm using my arms here at this stage to stabilize and to power and to push and to lower me up and down. One more. Now I'm gonna add in an extra bit on this one. So when we're here, we go from here straight up. You're balancing on your arms, then you bring the legs back down and you roll out. So that's the jackknife part. Or sometimes they call them arm stands. So here, 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 whoa, everything's shaking. And then uh, one more. Up we go. Here, 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 and here. <laughs> yeah, nice. And then I'm gonna open the legs and roll back out. Beautiful. Love them. Okay. We're going back on. So what I want us to do here is you're going to be back on your left side. I'm going to lie with my kind of elbow at the back of the mat, hips at the back of the mat, feet to the front of the mat. Place your hand down here if you need to, or place it on your hip. So you're going to lift that leg, take it forward, pulse, pulse. Take it back, pulse, pulse. Take it forward, pulse, pulse. Take it back, pulse, pulse. So try not move too much through that upper body. I caught myself kind of swinging through the upper body, particularly on the pulses. One more. Exit. Now, I'm going to leave that leg there, and I'm going to take it all the way, arc it to the front, arc it back in line with my body. So it's only going down in line with my body. It's not going behind my body. Up and over, up and back. Up and over, up and back. One more, forward and back. Loading, now, from here, bend the knee, bring it right through, but keep that knee bent, bring it back. So I'm keeping the knee bent. I'm sliding the leg along the coffee table. It stays level as you move it forwards and backwards. One more. And then hold it back there and pulse it up and down. Five, four, oh my lord, three, two, one, done. I just made that last bit up. I don't know why I did it. It's not nice at all. Okay, swing it around. So position yourself correctly. Elbow back at the back of the mat. Bum at the back of the mat. Feet to the front of the mat. Again, hand down or hand on the hips. Take up that leg, we swing it forward with a kick, kick. Swing it back with a kick, kick. Swing it forward, kick, kick. Swing it back, kick, kick. But again, I'm sliding that leg along the coffee table. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. One more. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. And then I'm gonna bring that top leg back in line with my body and we're going to scoop it up and over 
tap to the front and back. Try and get that arc as we're scooping it forward, scooping it back. One more. Excellent. Now, from here, I'm going to bring the knee through and then keep the knee bent at 90 degrees to bring it back. So again, I'm trying to stay in control. You don't want that knee going too far back that it causes a back bend. I'm actually hitting the wall here, but that's perfect amount of range. So the leg is almost finishing back in line. But again, I'm sliding that knee along the coffee table. Hold, up and down, pulls through the knee. Ooh, five, four, three. Oh, Jesus, two, one. I must remember that one. All right, good stuff. So we're gonna start our little cool down now. Now knees together, slumping forward. Breathing through our nose. And then coming forward. And back. And then I wanna open my knees, stay here and breathe. And then come forward and back. One more. Forward and back. And then we're going to walk our hands to our feet. Good stuff. Now, from here, a bit of balance work. I'm going to take up that left knee, hold it if I can. And I'm going to swing that left knee out and in. I'm definitely coming down with something. My balance is horrendous. In and out. Good. Last one. Nice. And then we switch up tall, standing on that left leg. Swing out the right knee. Take it back in, out, in, try not move anything else. Opening up that knee as far as it'll go. I nearly went there. Two more. And one more. And down. Good. So we shake out those legs. I'm going to bounce up and down through the shoulders to loosen them out. We'll do a nice little side bend. So from here, or sorry, forward roll. From here, take a breath in, and then chin to chest, slumping forward. And then from here, take a breath in and stack up through your spine, push up through your feet, all the way up, shoulders back, chin tucked in. And again, breathe in, and down. Breathing in, exhale back up. And one more. And down. And then coming up, deep breath to the ceiling. And full up. And again. And full up. And one more. And full up. And slowly stacking ourselves back up. We're done. Good stuff. See you later.